much. Oh my gosh, that was such a good sleep. I don't think anything could make my day bad after that. Good morning, little puddings. You're so cute. Look at you. And Daisy and Darcy. Hello, you two cutie pies. How are you doing today? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to just have a really good day with my good old sister, little Cardi. Little Cardi, are you awake yet? Little Carly, hello? Hello? Oh no, she's not here. She must be out with baby Ruby. Hmm, okay, well I guess I can just go get some breakfast myself. I mean, it'll kind of be a drag, but I guess it's just what I gotta do and nothing's gonna stop me having a good day. Okay, Buttons and Daisy and Darcy, I'll be back in a while. I'll probably go down and check on baby Ellie while she's down here, while I'm down there anyway as well. Might see if I can pick her up something for breakfast too. Oh gosh, I'm starving. I'd love a bacon and some pancakes. Oh, hey Chef Marty, what's up? Morning, little Kelly. You just missed Carly. Oh, what a shame. My dear old sister just left without me. Oh, that's awful. Well, I hope she has a great day as she deserves one because I'm feeling super happy today. Oh my gosh, your shelves are kind of bare. That's weird. Mmm, it does smell like you were cooking up something really nice in here. Chef Marty, what's for breakfast? Uh, here's the thing. Ramona and her daughters kind of took all the food for themselves. I'm sorry. I have nothing left for you. What? Ramona, Luna, and Brittany took all the food? Ugh! That woman, I swear, she's just awful. She's just plain old mean. Oh, Chef Marty, you don't have to worry. It's not your fault. She's just so evil. Working for her really makes me want to quit. Your father, you and Carly are the only reason I'm still here. That woman is one of the meanest I've ever come across. Oh, I know, Chef Marty, and uh, me and little Cardi, we're working on it, okay? Uh, I'm just going to go across that little mean old lady and see if she'll give me some breakfast. I mean, it is my castle after, after all. She's just a guest here. Okay, let's go across. Oh my gosh, I'm going to give her peace of my mind. She's the scum between my toes. She's the gone-off apple on the shelf. I don't know what to say. She's just so rotten on the inside. That's what I'm trying to get at. Okay, let me go in there. Oh gosh, they're all eating breakfast. Luna and Brittany are there too. Oh gosh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, little Kelly, be strong. Be uh, brave and courageous and say what you got to say. Uh, good morning, Ramona. Um, How are you doing? How are you doing? That's the best you can come up with, little Kelly. Uh, the... Ramona, I need to talk to you. Oh, it's you. What do you want? What I want is breakfast. I deserve some breakfast. I went over to Chef Marty and he said, you took all the food for yourselves and that's just not fair. I think I deserve something eat to eat as well. Breakfast? You think you deserve breakfast? As a matter of fact, I do. I've lived here my entire life and you just got here. I mean, you weren't here when we first got the castle. You weren't here when we first moved in. I've been here all along with my sister Carly and you just got here. That means I deserve the breakfast on the table, not you. Oh, you poor little thing. Born into royalty, always had everything she ever wanted. It must be so hard for you. I've worked hard to make my way into this castle. You've never known a hard day's work in your life. Uh, yes, I have. I've worked lots of jobs. I've been on lots of adventures. I've saved people's lives. You don't know anything about me. You can't judge me. Uh, you're just really annoying me. Uh, you don't belong here, Ramona. Uh, just get out of my sight. You're ruining my breakfast. Ugh, whatever. I'm sick of you as well. Oh my gosh, who does she think she is saying that I've never worked for anything? That I've just grown up with in this place as if it was just given to me? Oh, I guess I kind of did. Oh, no, what am I saying? Ramona doesn't know what she's talking about. Uh, she doesn't know me. She just waltzed in here and just took all the food out of the kitchen and took it for herself and her daughters. They're greedy and they're malicious. Oh. Dad's right there. Okay, I better I better not say anything to upset him. Uh, hey, Dad. I better go talk to baby Ellie and see if she's okay. Oh, uh, hey, Butler Dean. What's going on? Oh, hello there, little Kelly. Is there anything I can do for you? Tidy your bedroom or maybe do some laundry? What? No, Butler Dean. Why would you do that stuff for me? I can do it myself. You know, I'm not just this posh royalty kid who acts like a pretty princess. I can do it. I can do my own laundry. Don't be silly, your highness. I've done all these things since you are a child. It doesn't bother me. Well, I I guess you kind of have, Butler Dean. 
But no, uh, today you don't have to do those chores for me. I'll do them myself. It's fine. Okay, uh, you don't need to do anything for me. Well, if there isn't anything else, I must be off. Goodbye for now. Okay, see you, Butler Dean. I better be off too. Oh, gosh. I can't believe it. I mean, what he said, it just confirms everything that Ramona was saying. M maybe I am not as cool as I wa thought I was. Maybe I am this little posh rich kid who got everything handed to her. I never thought of myself as that way. This, this really isn't nice. No, we have to think about this. I, I was born into royalty. That put my life in danger and I've worked hard to stay alive and keep my family alive. Well, apart from mom. Oh, but Butler Dean's just saying that he did all these things for me. I never asked him to do that, but I guess he was employed to do it. Oh, I don't know. I think maybe Ramona's right. Maybe I, I don't belong in this castle. I mean, I guess I do by, by blood and family, but I've never worked that hard to be here. It's just always been here. I have to make it on my own. I have to get out of here. I have to earn my own money and find my way in the world. Not being the queen of the magical kingdom. Just being me. Not having everyone want to give me things and help me. Just work on my own and get my own things, you know? Really, really means something. Oh, gosh, okay. Maybe I should do that then. That's what I have to do. Uh, oh, gosh, well, what about Darcy and Daisy? I can't just leave them here. I'll leave a note in Cardi's bedroom. I'll tell her that I've left. Uh, she'll understand why. She's my sister. She's always understood me. But you two are mine and Carly's. But Buttons, I think you have to stay here, okay? I don't think it'll be safe for you. I don't know where I'm going and I don't know when I'm going to be back. Ugh, I don't want you to get hurt or hungry. I don't even know how I'm going to feed myself. I've used up all my pocket money. I mean, what kid does that? I live in a royal kingdom. I have everything else and I still get managed to spend all that money. Ugh, this is outrageous. It's ridiculous. Okay, what I need to do is go to the library, get a piece of paper and leave a note for Carly. Tell her to look after Darcy and Daisy and Buttons and Baby Ali and Dad. I gotta go make it on my own. This castle just doesn't feel like home anymore. Feels like a big empty shell of what was. Uh, hopefully I can find a notebook in here that will work. Uh, let's see, maybe over here. Ah, this'll do. Okay, let's sit down and write this note. Oh gosh, how am I gonna put this to little Carly? Uh, maybe I should write it in her bedroom. Get a sense of who she is, you know? Might make it easier leaving her behind. I can't believe I'm doing this. But I just don't feel like a normal person if I go by life with everything handed to me. That's not how real people live. I was blessed enough to be born in this life. It doesn't mean I've earned it. Oh, gosh, okay. Here might be a good idea. Oh, gosh, gosh, okay. Let's get it out. Dear little Carly, it's LK. I've had to leave the castle for good. <sighs> I have to learn how to make it on my own, out there. Please look after Daisy, Darcy, Buttons, and Baby Ali. She means the world to me. But I won't be a good mother to her unless I do this. I have to learn the value of life and not just castles and rich people and balls and things. Please forgive me, your sister. Forever and always, little Kelly. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I just have to find somewhere to put this. Okay, what about right here? I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, I'm gonna say one last goodbye to Buttons, Daisy, and Darcy. <laughs> goodbye, my sweet little Buttons. Be a good puppy, okay? I love you. And Darcy and Daisy, oh, a mother and daughter who really know how to live life. You've taught your cow how to eat grass and just appreciate what she has. And baby Eddie's not even here to say goodbye to. It's probably for the best. Okay, I need to get out of here. I just need to go and figure this out. I haven't got any money or anything on me. Okay, it's time to find out what the real world is like. Oh, I've been walking around the city for hours now. There's still nowhere to sleep. I'm scared. I don't like this. I wish I had a stayed in the castle. Oh gosh, 
Wait, what's all this over here? <gasps> Look! <gasps> oh, uh, hello. It's people in tents. Maybe I'll find somewhere to sleep. Uh, hello there. H hi. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, didn't mean to walk on your sleeping bag. Oh, fire. Oh my gosh, I was so cold. <sighs> oh gosh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, hello there. Hey, can you spare a dime? Oh, well, I would if I could, sir, but I'm completely broke. Sorry. Oh, gosh, this place is kind of creepy and everyone's kind of dirty. Oh. Sweet swoo. We got fresh meat, boys. Uh, I am not meat. Oh, excuse me. Okay, um, I need to find somewhere to sleep. Where did they get all these sleeping bags? Um, this is crazy. Okay, maybe back out this way. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that I've done it. I've... Run away from home, and I'm out doing it by myself. Uh, and I'm still alive, so I guess, sorry, excuse me, that's a good thing. Uh, oh, look, there's more over here. Uh, okay, let's go check this area out. Oh, my gosh, okay. Um, maybe I'll be able to find somewhere here. Look, they're just washing their clothes and stringing them up like that. Uh, let me see. Any spare tents going, guys? Anything? Anywhere? Oh, sorry. Um, anything? Hello? Is anyone gonna help me? Oh, over here, look! Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, ooh, okay, sleeping bags and stuff. Uh, hello, sir. Um, I'm just gonna borrow one of your sleeping bags and I'll give it back in the morning, I promise, and I'm, and I'm good for it. And if I get any food or anything, I'll put it in here. Okay, now I just have to find somewhere. Uh, what about right, uh, over here? Okay, uh, let's put it down. Uh, here, okay. That works, beside the fire. Um, hey guys, what's going on? What are you doing in a place like this? <coughs> oh, I think that smoke is getting me all dirty and ruining my clothes. Um, I might just sit over here. Um, well, I kind of have a bit of a long story. You see, the thing is, my stepmom, she was a really mean lady and she just... She made me question everything and pretty much pushed me out of my own home. It was awful. Word of advice. Instead of letting her push you out of the house that's rightfully yours, maybe you should push her out to where she belongs. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Shh, that nothing is hers. She doesn't deserve any of that house. I mean, I may have been born into it by by chance but i deserve that castle i've worked hard to protect that kingdom and my family and you know what guys you're right uh, i'm gonna go back there and i'll send out any food supplies that we have down to this homeless shelter right here well camp thing that you've got going on and i hope you guys have a great day i'm gonna solve this problem okay i'm gonna go back and stay in the castle tonight tomorrow morning i wake little carly up and we make a plan i want to finish ramona what's it for all how dare she take what's rightfully mine Ugh, i can't believe i let this happen she's so good at playing mind games i'm gonna get her once and for all 